హలో అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు శ్రీ సాయి తేజస్వి అకాడమీ దిస్ ఈస్ అ న్యూ సిరీస్ ఆఫ్ వీడియో క్లాసెస్ ఆన్ నైన్త్ స్టాండర్డ్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ఫర్ సిబిఎస్ఇ స్టూడెంట్స్ సో టుడే వీ విల్ బీ సీయింగ్ ది సెకండ్ చాప్టర్ పాలినామియల్స్ ఐ వాంట్ టు స్టార్ట్ విత్ ది పాలినామియల్స్ చాప్టర్ సో బిఫోర్ వీ లుక్ ఇన్ టు ద చాప్టర్ లెట్ అస్ recap uh, recall uh, what we have studied in 8th standard so we have studied a 8th standard algebraic expression so this chapter is based on that so uh, following is the couple of questions uh, please pause the video once you see the questions and uh, try to answer them we will discuss the answers <laughs> now let us uh, see the questions uh, of what we have studied in 8th standard so first question is what is an expression two what are the two components of expression so three what is monomial binomial and trinomial so what are okay so three is that so four is can you think of some monomial binomial and trinomials so try and answer the questions we will see the answers uh, press the pause button uh, try to think of the answers and once you are done press the resume button hope you have answered the questions so now let us see the answers uh, first question was what is an expression so expression consists of uh, the x y term any alphabet and number like 5x plus 3y 2x minus 7 3y plus 8 so these are all expression so any number of term not only two any number of term it can contain so that is an expression so what is the second question is what are the two components of expression so two components of expression is variable and constant so 5x plus 3 so x is a variable 3 is the constant term so 5x is a variable term x is a variable so alphabet generally alphabet represents the variable the value will change variable means the value will change constant means 5 so 5 means always it is 5 in any problem 5 will be 5 but x will be in one problem one value it may be 3 or it may be 7 it will be minus 2 you can take the value of 0 also so depends upon the sum so problem so that is the uh, variable two components of variable expression is constant and variable so now is the next question 3 what is monomial binomial trinomial so mono means single one yes mono means single so monomial is single term 2x is a monomial 3 is a monomial constant term monomial 4y is a monomial so binomial binomial is 2 by bicycle so it has two wheels so by means 2 binomial means it consists of two terms 5x plus 3 is a binomial 5x plus 2y is a binomial 3x plus 4 4z is a binomial f plus b is a binomial like that trinomial tri means tricycle triangle triangle means how many angle 3 so trinomial means three terms so that is uh, 5x plus 7 plus y that will be trinomial so 4 so can you think of some monomial monomial sorry binomial and trinomial i have already answered while answering the third question we have seen examples so that answers the fourth questions also so that is the uh, recap for the previous class what you have studied in algebraic expression now we'll move on to polynomials ninth standard 
second lesson in your book so we will see what is this we will start the going to the lesson polynomial now let us uh, start with the lesson polynomials consider the expression x square plus 2x so x square is a term 2x is a term both are terms of the polynomial you should know this fundamental so x square plus 2x x square is a term 2x is a term this polynomial has how many terms two terms this polynomial has two terms so so now consider an uh, expression which is a polynomial 2x square plus 5x plus 7 so i have circled some numbers here you can see 2 i have circled 5 i have circled why i have circled it's a number sitting next to x square near x square so 5 is a number sitting next to x so whichever number is near the variable term that is called coefficient of that term coefficient of x square is 2 coefficient of x is 5 there will be problems you need to list out the coefficient of x square in the sums so so whatever number is there near with the sign you have to put here i have not used negative sign if it is there 2x square minus 5x you have to if they ask the coefficient of uh, x you have to put minus 5 so with the term you have to put understood so that is coefficient so you have to know what is the coefficient of the whatever it is as x square or x or x cube or x bar 4 whatever it may be now what happened to 7 we have talked about 2x square 5x fine 7 what happened 7 is a constant polynomial it's also a polynomial it's a constant polynomial or it is called zero polynomial it's a constant term basically so we call it as constant polynomial or zero polynomial so how do we denote polynomial so polynomial is denoted by p of x q of x f of x function generally f of x but it uh, can also be a polynomial so polynomial is denoted by p of x so, you have, whatever it may be any alphabet uh, within bracket x if the variable is x it can be y also it can be z also anything so that is how it is denoted so very important now what is degree of the polynomial so degree of the polynomial is very important there will be problems in your question paper for degree of polynomial so p of x consider the polynomial p of x is equal to x power 5 plus 4 x power 4 plus 2 x cube plus minus 5 x square plus 7 x minus 9 so i have circled again some numbers here i have not circled uh, the coefficients i have circled the powers exponent of the x terms all the exponents are in the sum exponent of x will not be given if 7x exponent of x is not there if nothing is there that means one don't put zero there x power zero will become one uh, yeah so that will be become a constant term it will not become 7x so 7 into x power zero means 7 into 1, 7, it will become a constant term. That is 7x only. 7x means 7x to the power of 1. You have to understand that. So, I have circled the power. So, now listen carefully. Whenever a polynomial is given, you see the powers. In this, you see the powers. Power, what are the powers? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, which is the highest you take obviously 5 is the highest yes so that is your degree of polynomial that, that is the degree of the polynomial so you have to find out the degree of the polynomial so take take an example take down you write in your notebook take the example x cube plus uh, 2x square minus 5x plus 7 what is the degree? Think over.
3 is the degree correct x power 10 plus 9 x power 9 plus 4 x power 8 plus uh, minus 7 x power 7 plus 5 x square plus 8 what is the degree obviously 10 so see the powers that's all it is see the powers note down the powers whichever number is greater that is your degree of the polynomial very simple understood yeah now you can work out some problems so now let us move on to the next topic before we move on to the next topic let us discuss some problems so one find the coefficient of x square and x in the following sums so first subdivision a 5x square minus 7x plus 8 so coefficient of x square is 5 coefficient of x is minus 7 b is minus 7x square plus 8x plus 5 so what is the coefficient of x square in this sum minus 7 coefficient of x 8 c 3x square plus 5 coefficient of x square is 3 what is coefficient of x x term itself is not there means coefficient of x is 0 we will go to the next second problem find the degree of a 5x power 9 plus 2x power 8 plus 3x square plus 7 what is the degree i told you see the powers power is 9 8 2 the highest number is largest of 9 8 2 is 9 so 9 is the degree b 8x power 5 plus 4x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 10. What is the degree? Powers is 5, 3, 2, 1. Highest is 5. Degree is 5. So, first is some degree is 9. Second some degree is 5. In the second problem. So, that is the uh, coefficient of x square and x. We have learned how to find out coefficient of and the degree. So, we have learned. So let us move on to the next topic. Before that, uh, we will see some NCRT exercises in your NCRT book. It's an exercise. I'll tell you how to solve those exercises in the next topic. Now, in your NCRT book, page number 32, that is exercise 2.1. Let us see the exercise. Uh, we'll discuss the answers. So I'll tell you how to proceed with the problems question number one which are the following expressions are polynomial in one variable which are now and which are not state the reason for your answer so the reason is uh, you have to understand polynomials in one variable means it should be either x or y or z or t or a or b or anything only one will one should be there if x is there throughout x should be there if y is there throughout y should be there if more than two alphabets are one alphabet is there then it is not polynomial one variable that is the thing so that is the reason you, you can give so i will discuss the first thing 4x square minus 3x plus 7 so x square term is there x is there there is no other term other than x it's polynomial in one variable y square plus root 2 y only is there that is the reason you have to give only y is there there is no x there is no z so that is polynomial one variable 3 root t plus t root 2 only t is there polynomial one variable y plus 2 by y only y is there polynomial one variable fifth problem you see see carefully x power 10 plus y cube plus t power 50 is there x y t is there three in uh, alphabets are involved it is not a polynomial one variable second question write the coefficient of x square in each of the following coefficient of x square means what is the number next to x square if nothing is there remember one so first problem 2 plus x square plus x if what is the coefficient of x square in this problem one nothing is there means one don't put zero two two minus x square plus x cube coefficient of x square is 
remember minus sign is there so coefficient of x square is minus 1 pi by 2 x square plus x what is the coefficient of x square pi by 2 root 2 x minus 1 coefficient is 0 there is no x square term don't put root 2 there is no x square term means 0 there is no number near to x square means it is 1 there is no x square term at all means 0 understood so that is the thing <coughs> move on to the next problem third one give one example each of binomial of degree 35 and monomial of degree 100 i think you can do it write uh, mono binomial means that it should be two terms x power 35 plus uh, x power anything you write 34 x square you can write anything two terms should be there that's all binomial degree <coughs> make sure that you don't put any power greater than 35 degree means greatest power don't put any number greater than 35 in the power of x that's all monomial on single term degree 100 x power 100 is the monomial as simple as that it can be 2 x power 100 also coefficient can be there no 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 issues as such so fourth problem write the degree of each of the following polynomials i am sure you can do it we have done problems 1 5 x cube plus 4 x square plus 7 x what is the highest power 3 so degree is 3 as simple as that 2 4 minus o square degree 2 5 t minus root 7 degree 1 3 degree 0 constant term means degree 0 there is no x term y term means there is no power at all degree 0 right fifth problem classify the following as linear quadratic and cubic polynomial what is a linear polynomial one linear means one quadratic means four quad quadrilateral four sided polygon so quadri quadratic means four cubic means degree is three degree of the polynomial linear means one degree is two means quadratic degree is three means cubic as simple as that one x square plus x degree is 2 quadratic x minus x cube cubic y plus y square plus 4 quadratic 1 plus x linear 3t linear r square quadratic 7x cube cubic got it so you i am i was pretty fast you can pause the video and uh, see so if you have any doubts you can always ask in the comments section Now let us see the next topic, zeros of polynomial. Very important. Listen very carefully. Consider a polynomial p of x is equal to x square minus 4x plus 2. So before we go to the zeros of polynomial, just uh, let us see some general uh, thing. Later we will go to zeros of polynomial x is equal to 2. So p of x is x square minus 4x plus 2. Uh, let x be 2. Substitute x be 2 means x is equal to 2 means wherever x is there you have to put 2. That is p of 2 means wherever x is there you have to put 2. x square means 2x two, 2 square minus 4 into 2. Wherever x is there put 2 plus 2. That will be minus 2. Is it not? So we say p of x at x is equal to 2 is minus 2. This is a concept. So, if you are asked to find out, you are given the polynomial, if you are asked to find out for various values, values will be given. You have to substitute, wherever x is there, you have to substitute the value, find out p of x at that value. x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 3 or x is equal to minus 2, whatever. Okay. Now, consider p of x is equal to x square plus 3x plus 2. Let x is equal to minus 2. Substitute minus 2. We have substituted 2. We will substitute minus 2 and see what happens. p of minus 2 will be wherever x is there. I have told you substitute minus 2 or what are values given in the problem. Minus 2 whole square plus 3 into minus 2 plus 2. That will be comes to minus 2 whole square is 4 minus 6 plus 2 0 how the value becomes 0 okay let us substitute x equal to minus 1 and see what happens 
zero comes out. Let us see what happens. P of uh, minus one is minus one whole square plus three into minus one plus two. That is also zero. So in both the cases, I substitute minus two, I substitute minus one. I get a P of that minus two and my P of minus one is zero. When I substitute a number and get zero, that number is called zero of the polynomial. You understand? It's not wrong. Don't think uh, I have got P of minus two zero. My I has uh, made some mistake. No. It, you have done it correctly. That means that number is zero of the polynomial. If you substitute a number x is equal to something and get zero, that that something some number which you have substituted is called zero of the polynomial. Here you substituted minus two, you got zero. Minus two is zero of this polynomial. P of x is zero to x square plus three x plus two. You have substituted minus one again. You got zero. That means. 2 minus 2 and minus 1 are zeros of the polynomial x square plus 3x plus 2. So pause the video and see whether you have understood. If you have understood, we will go to the problems and solve some problems. If you have not understood, watch the video again. Post in comment section whatever doubts you have. This is a very important concept in polynomial zeros of a polynomial, fundamental concept. You need to understand this to move to the next topic. You cannot do any problem without finding out zero of the polynomial. Understanding zero of the polynomial is very very crucial at this stage. So yes, try and work out some problems. Let us see. Now let us uh, work out some problems. First problem: find the value of polynomial phi x square minus eight x plus three at x is equal to two. Substitute x equal to two. Phi into two square minus eight into two plus three. You will get the answer. I will tell you how to do it. You do it if you have any doubts. You ask in the comment section. And uh, if any, as per the response of the comment section, I will post the solution in the next video. Okay. B. X is equal to minus three, five into minus three whole square, five into nine, forty-five minus eight into minus three, plus three. Wherever X is there, you substitute minus three. Wherever X is there, substitute two for the first problem. That's all. Find out the solution answers. Two. Find P of one, P of zero, P of one, P of two. P of zero is wherever X is there, substitute zero. P of one is wherever X is there, substitute one. P of two is wherever wherever x is there substitute two, so P of x is equal to four x square plus five x minus two, substitute x is equal to zero you will get minus two. So x equal to one you will get four plus five nine minus two my seven. Substitute two you will get four into two square sixteen plus ten minus two find out. That's all. Sixteen plus ten twenty six minus two twenty four. That's all it is. So P of two, so wherever x is there, substitute whatever value in given in the bracket. So do the similarly do the uh, second and third problems. P of x is equal to x cube minus six x square plus five x minus seven, and the next problem is P of x is equal to five x minus seven. So pause and note out the problem. Do it. Next question three. Ver verify whether the following zeros of following are the zeros of the given polynomial. So The x some value will be given. You have to find out whether that is zero of that polynomial. Understood? Y x square minus x minus six x equal to minus three. Substitute x equal to minus three. See if you get zero, that is zero of that polynomial. Y x equal to two. Substitute and see x square plus x minus twelve. Substitute and see x equal to two. If you get zero, zero of that polynomial. Find the zeros of p of x is equal to x minus eight. That is x uh, minus eight. P of x is equal to x plus seven. Uh, C is p of x is equal to two x minus six. Uh, C p of x is equal to three x minus fifteen. Now what you do? Find zeros means substitute p of x is equal to zero. What I told you in the previous problem: substitute x is equal to minus three. If you get zero, that means zero. so that means p of x is equal to zero. So x minus eight is equal to zero. X is equal to eight. X plus seven is equal to zero. X is equal to minus seven. Two x minus six is equal to zero. Six goes that side. Positive six. Two x is equal to six. X is equal to three. 
3x minus 15 equal to 0, x is equal to 5. As simple as that. Okay, understood? So, based on these, uh, I have given all these problems based on exercises. So, I am sure you can do the exercise, second exercise in the given the chapter very easily. So, do it. Let us see. If you have any doubts, please uh, post in the comment section. I will be very glad to answer. If you like the video, please uh, share, subscribe. At this juncture of uh, Corona, classes are not happening. So, lockdown is there. So, you share with your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.